So I've been thinking about canoe tilt recently and how some people feel really nervous and sometimes tip over their canoe without knowing. And one of the things that you often hear is keeping your nose above your navel inside the gunnels. Um, really it's stacking your nose and, and your navel just to make sure that your that big bowling ball weight of your head stays between the two gunnels. And then you're not likely to tip out over because canoes are actually quite stable. So if I, if I start looking like this and I start tilting the canoe, notice my hips. They've, they've kind of gone into a J shape, but my navel and my nose are stacked on top of each other and still inside the gunnel. If I do basically the same thing, but I tilt my head over here, at some point, I'm going to need to put my paddle down or else I'm going to tip over. Does that make sense? So there's a little song that can help you, and I'm sure you all know this, the words to this. So I'm going to sing it once, and then you can sing along with me. It kind of goes like this. Head and shoulders, nose and rails, nose and rails, nose and rails. Head and shoulders, nose and rails. Eyes, ears, mouth, and gunnels. It just helps you keep track of where your nose is between the two gunnels. Okay, I'm sure you're all going to remember that now. So really, you want to J-lean and keep your nose above your navel. So, how do I know if my nose is above my navel? Well, one of the things that you can try, which is kind of silly, is using a plumb line. So those of you who are carpenters probably know what a plumb line is. It's one of those lines that helps you just know when something is plumb or straight up and down. It's a string with just a weight at the end. Now, I bet you know what I'm going to be doing with this. So just give me a second here. I'm going to give my navel and my nose a plumb line. Ready? There we go. Look at that. Right over my nose. And if I start tipping over a little bit, notice, uh-oh, I'm going to tip over because my plumb line is outside the gunnel. Whereas what you really want is you want your canoe, if it's going to tip, is keeping that plumb line over your navel. Now, doesn't that look like fun? Here we go, let's try that again. Bad. And. There we go, right inside the canoe. So you too can do this at home. All you need is a little piece of string and a weight. And then you can watch when that, whoa, 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 right, keep my nose over my navel inside the canoe. Okay, have we had too much fun now? <laughs> All right, I want to see everybody with canoe plumb lines now, okay? There we go. Have a good night. It's been real. Bye.